A call for the end of shale gas exploration in the southern Algerian town of Ain Salah. The daily protest began in early January after the government said a successful test drill had shown that the exploitation of shale gas could begin. Hydraulic fracturing, also known as fracking, is a process of injecting water, sand and chemicals into shale rock at high pressure to release trapped gas. Protesters fear that the chemicals used in the process will pollute local aquifers. Water, a scarce commodity in the Sahara Desert, is considered sacred by the local Tuareg community. If our water is polluted, that means we have no food, we have no, no other resource, we have no agriculture, we, have, don't, we don't have what to eat. If our water is polluted, our environment is polluted, we are dying. All are of us, we are dying. The exploratory work is being carried out by the national gas firm Sonatrach, alongside Totala France and Halliburton of the United States. Most demonstrations have been peaceful, but when protesters attempted to enter a Halliburton site, there were clashes with police. Although the majority of the protests have taken place in the south of Algeria, demonstrations have been staged here in the capital. So what do the people of Algiers make of the government's shale gas plans? It's only in the interest of the foreign companies. The interest of the people is the last thing these foreign companies think about. It's a source of energy. Why not exploit it? We can get money from it. The people who live there in Ain Salah should be consulted and should vote for this project. But former Algerian Prime Minister Sid Ahmed Ghazali says the protests aren't just about the environment. He says there's also a perceived wealth gap between the north and south of the country. The people who are protesting in Ain Salah do so because they have a grave problem. They are not happy with their own situation. Up to now, the regime in Algeria has been able to buy social peace by throwing money from the window. Things will stop when the state has no more money left. The government hopes its $70 billion investment in fracking will keep the money coming in. Algeria is considered to have the third largest shale gas reserves in the world, after China and Argentina. But shale gas is more expensive to recover than conventional gas because of higher production costs. So with the price of oil more than halving since June last year, is fracking in Algeria still economically viable? The former managing director of Sonatrach says the government is right to push ahead with its plans. The investment for exploration of gas has slowed down in the last 10 years. But we have to be there when the demand begins to rise again. It will be one year to 18 months until the demand is back and we need to be there with large quantities of gas. Soon, there will be new technology that will make it more efficient and profitable to exploit shale gas. Our request to interview Algeria's Minister of Energy was declined. Protesters in Ain Salah say they will continue their demonstrations until the government guarantees a moratorium to explore cleaner fracking technology.